Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to tell everyone about when we, when me and Kira lived down in Cedar City, um, we would do this thing called geocaching in the summer. And now that the weather is getting a little bit nicer, except for today it snowed, but this weekend, uh, weather was really nice. So we are going to start doing geocaching again. And if you don't know what geocaching is, you take your GPS and you go to geocaching.com and you put in your GPS that you have. You sign up for an account and then you put your GPS in there and you can select numerous um, places where there are hidden treasures for you to go find. And so... We love doing it. It's fun. So I'm going to share with you guys what's in our geocache bag because I just had to refresh it because um, because we now have different stuff that we need to put in. So we have our geocaching bag. See, we have our family geocache bag. And the reason that you need supplies is because sometimes these things are very well hidden and you need them. Well, first things first, we have our geocaching log, okay? In here, I have stickers because I like to put stickers on our geocaches. And then we have a pair of scissors and pencils and pens in here. And then we have our actual geocache log. And so you can see we found this one the other day. We got it on 5.3. I logged it on geocaching.com at 5.9. And so this kind of is, if you look at this, look. That is all the geocaches within a mile of my house. That's insane. That's a lot of geocaches. Anyway, so there's our geocaches. You gotta have that because you gotta know where the heck you're going. And then we have plastic eggs because when you take a geocache, you have to put one back. And sometimes the, the geocaches can get wet. And so since I'm doing stickers this time, um, I want them to stay dry, so I'm going to put them in Easter eggs. And we have received box. So when we go to the geocache and we receive things, we put them in here. Because sometimes you can get um, uh, a travel bug and you need to move it on to another place and position. So you put it in the received box so that I know that I need to replace and resend out these. And it's also easier for when we're done at the end of the day, we can look and see what we got. And then in similar fashion, we have the giving. So we have all of our, I only have stickers in here for right now, but we'll get more. For some reason in the summer, there tends to be more little stupid things that you can get at like the dollar store and stuff so you can do your geocaching. Okay, along with all that stuff, we also have pair of work gloves. Why is this? Because a lot of geocaches are found under rocks. And my hands always hurt. And I have fingernails. So, um, it's just useful to have gloves when we go. And I have a spoon if we need to dig something out. Um, so that is our geocache bag that we have for all of our geocaches. So, um, I'm kind of excited because we are in a new territory and there's a million geocaches nearby. Apparently in Utah, there's a lot of, um, when you do geocaching, there's, um, it's a big place to do it. So there are a lot of, uh, caches available nearby. So yeah, I, I can't believe that these are all the ones that are just within the mile or two from my house. I just, it's crazy. Anyway, um, that's all that's going on with that, and if you want to learn more about geocaching, you can click here, and I'll put a link there for you, and if you already do geocache, leave me a message down here, let me hear about it, and if you'd like to go geocaching with me, um, leave me a message, and I will get in touch with you, and we'll connect. All right, we'll talk to you later.